Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, a ray of hope coming from Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Let me invite you to pick up a Bible. Turn with me to Revelation 22. We'll look at verse 13. Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God on this beautiful day. Well, praise the Lord. What better way to get a new day started uh, than to have a cup of coffee and to hear a word from God. In Revelation twenty-two thirteen, Jesus said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled Liberation from Times of Tyranny. You know, my friend, whether the end time is imminent or not, the Lordship of Jesus Christ extends over the cosmic continuum. Authentic prayer puts us in total touch with this reality and liberates us from the tyranny of the times. Our Lord's words calls us to contentious conduct in a world today. Tomorrow's survival is his responsibility. Now, the New Testament knows only the linear concept of time. You see, creation marked the beginning. The death and the resurrection of Christ is the decisive midpoint, and his second coming will determine the end time. But this latter future event is no longer the center of redemption's story regardless of the precise date of his return we're living in the last days or in uh in a time that uh that that appears to be the last days you see the final stages of salvation history uh was inaugurated on easter sunday In the Christian view of history, the end time is coming, but the world is already ruled by Christ by virtue of his decisive Easter victory. And because he lives, we too shall live. You see, the one who launched creation is responsible for its beginning and for its end. So, friend, trust him with everything in between and realize that your victory comes in the Lord Jesus Christ. He truly is the beginning of time, and friend, he'll be the end of time. He is the first, and he will be the last. He stood at the beginning, and he'll continue to stand at the end. And the glorious fact is, friend, because of salvation, you and I will be able to stand with him because he loves us that much. How wonderful that is to know that he will liberate us from times of tyranny. Pray with me. Father, thank you, dear Lord, for the liberation we have in the Lord Jesus Christ and help us realize that who you set free is free indeed. And thank you for the promise that we'll get to be with you one day and stand together. And God, we give you praise for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, God bless you and go out into your world. Take a stand today. Remember to smile. Let others see the Lord Jesus Christ in you. Your life could be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see Christ in you. God bless you. Have a good day.